Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and I am that snake lady. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to treat for mites. Um, one of my snakes, Patty. I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to treat her. Um, she's the only one I've seen mites on, though I'm treating everyone just as like preventative measure. So I'm going to be showing you today how I'm going to be treating everything. This is her terrarium here behind me. I've already cleaned everything out, all the substrate. I use um, cocoa fiber, though I am going to be switching to Reptichip if anyone uses that. Um, hashtag not sponsored, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to be showing you just what I'm going to be using, how I'm going to be cleaning everything. Um, I'm going to show you me spraying her down with what I'm going to be using to clean for mites. And we're going to go from there. <laughs> Enjoy. So the way um, I chose to treat it, I know there's a few different methods that people use, but the one I decided would be best for me is the NYX treatment. Um, this is what I got. I bought it at Walmart for like $10. And what you do, it comes with um, two, two bottles, and you just um, take one whole one, I think it's 59 um, mLs, you take that and you just mix it in with one whole gallon of distilled water to dilute it. Do not pour straight nicks on your snakes, they will not enjoy it, they might even get sick and die, which is never a good thing, don't let your snakes die. And spray bottle. Label your spray bottles because I don't know about any of you, but I use the same type of bottles These are like a dollar I think and I've got like four and some of them are um, Vinegar with water I use to just do regular cleaning some of them are NYX and some are just regular water um, To mist every now and then if things get a little bit dry I just take it I miss like the substrate and kind of just mix it in instead of just missing everything else, just because it'll dry up a lot quicker if the substrate absorb the uh, water. It stays moist longer, keeps the humidity where it needs to be, which is about 55, 60% I like mine. But yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna spray down, spray down all the glass. Um, we're gonna spray down the inside and the outside. And then we're gonna do like a two foot radius around Patty's stand because mites do like to hide in dark places. And yeah, we're just gonna clean her tank. I just smashed my elbow against one of the uh, doors. Did not feel good. And yes, I am in my pajamas. It's my day off. Therefore, I get to wear whatever the fuck I want. Last spray down, and then I'll show you how to spray down your snake. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna show you anyway, just how they react. Patty's usually pretty good. Um, today she seemed a little bit grumpy, but I doubt she'll bite me. She never has, never even struck at me. Making me think it's a year, never been bitten. I'm gonna get bit like in the face tomorrow or something now. <laughs> And like I said, um, you do want to spray the outside. I'm not going to bore you with too much cleaning just because um, it's not that fun to do. It's not that fun to watch. So, yeah. All right. So here we are with Patty. Um, she's been in this tote while I cleaned um, her terrarium. And now it's time to spray her down. I did notice a mite um, on her neck. So I'm going to see if I can find it again and show you guys. 
just because I want you guys to see like what to look for because they burrow like up under the snake's scales. Luckily on her, she's nice bright yellow, so the little black spots show up really well. So let me see if I can find it and if she'll uh, cooperate, which is another thing you have to look for. And you can see she's already essing up. She's, like I said, she's cranky. So I think what I'm gonna do instead of finding the mite is just spray her down and put her back. Like this is diluted Nyx. Um, it's diluted, I think, one part Nyx to 64 parts water. And still has a little bit of an odor to it, but nothing like, you know, the actual substance itself. So it's safe to spray everywhere because we're supposed to get it um, in their heat pits, which mites can hide in, um, in their eyes. And just get it everywhere. Just coat your entire snake and hope they don't hate you afterwards. And as you can see, if you can, I'm not quite sure what angle I'm at. She's trying to get away. She does not like this, which I can't say I blame her. But you want to use a very liberal amount to um, coat the snake. You want to get all the mites if there are any on them. I've only noticed one today. When I first noticed mites on her, they were everywhere. It looked like she like rolled in dirt. And since she'd been on a feeding strike, I wasn't really playing with her very much, if that makes sense. Um, just because I didn't want to stress her out, which now that she's eating again, I can give her a little bit of stress here and there, you know, making her appear for videos, spraying her down. But gonna get her face and just go down her body. And now we're just gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. Um, you don't dry them off afterwards. You don't wanna get solution all on them. You want to make sure they're completely coated, that the mites are coated. And the great thing about Nyx, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but it kills the mites' eggs as well, which is why I really wanted to use this treatment to get rid of any eggs that might be um, in the substrate in her terrarium around it if the mites have laid eggs like outside. But we're just going to put the lid back on, let her sit for a couple minutes. We're going to um, disinfect her decorations um, and go from there. Okay, we're back. So, as you can see, I have put Patty's furnishings back in her um, terrarium. Except for um, her branches and leaves, I'm soaking those in some um, hot water to disinfect them. And I'm going to spray them down with the next solution and put them in later. Um, she's got two hides, and I'm going to go ahead and put her back now. Come here. I'm just setting her down in, like, the middle of her enclosure. She probably will choose this hide. This one's her favorite. Um, it's on the cool side of her tank, which she prefers. I've, all my other snakes prefer the hot side, but Patty really likes the cold side, which is just fine. Um, and as you can see, I didn't put her water bowl back in just because, um, I don't want her to soak in it and rinse the solution off and then have, like, gross, nasty water if she tries to take a drink. I'll put it back on about 12 hours and then she'll be all good to go. Okay, so all four sticks are treated. Um, Patty is currently still roaming around her terrarium trying to find the entrance to her hide. Um, snakes are not that smart. <laughs> But, yeah, everyone's treated. Um, they're all on paper towel substrate. I think I mentioned before that I use um, EcoWorth or ReptiChip. Hashtag not sponsored. And, um, but no, they're on paper towels for, like, the next um, probably month or so. Um, they've gotten two treatments of the Nicks, um when I first noticed it on Patty. Like I said, she was just covered in these little black dots. She looked like a, a, a banana morph. And I thought it was just dirt because, like I said, um, I use EcoWorks, which is very fine bedding. Um, and I went to go brush it off, and uh, yeah, the spots are moving. But now that I've gotten her control, like I said, I've only seen one mite on her today. So that's really good compared to what it was before. And with only one treatment, I'm down to only seeing one mite, which is really awesome. 
the NYX really does work. I wasn't really, I mean, I did expect it to, but not quite as um, effectively, I guess. But anyway, so she's all treated. All my snakes have been treated. So gonna nip it in the butt. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about where mites come from now. I don't know where I got mine. Um, I don't know how Patty got hers. I checked all my other snakes. Two of them are darker morphs, so I they may have had them, I just didn't notice because they're such dark colors. Mites come from a variety of different places. I've heard they come from certain beddings you can get, which I don't think I got, the, got mine from bedding just because all my snakes use the same bedding, use like the same um, batch. I, um, the eco-orth I get comes like in the bricks and you put them in water and it becomes bedding. And other snakes you can get them from, like I said, I'm not sure if mine... Um, Patty's came from my new snake I got. Um, I checked her out after I noticed the mites and I didn't see any on her, but that doesn't mean that they necessarily didn't come from her. Like going to reptile shows, I've heard people um, will like touch someone else's snake, come home, touch their snakes, and then transfer the mites to them. Um, my snakes do go outside occasionally. I take them out once in a while to get some nice um, pictures in the sun just because um, bright lights really bring out their colors, you know, as you can see with uh, Patty with the light I have I'm using um, She's very bright yellow. So even like just like a natural sunlight. She's <laughs> But yeah, so she might have gotten them like um, wild snakes out like in my yard, you know, it happens I'm sure lots of other keepers whether they tell you or not have had the run-in with mites So this is just something that happens and we're dealing with that. It's not the end of the world. It's not as bad as everyone says. I've heard that people have taken like months and months and months to get rid of them, but like I said, I've done two treatments so far. Um, I did one a week ago. I did one today, and I've only noticed one mite out of all four of my snakes. I've only seen one mite, you know. That's why they're on paper towels as well. I don't know if I mentioned that. They're on paper towels right now because since mites are black or red, um, if they drink in blood, they're obviously red. Um, the, you'll throw up on the paper towels. The, you'll see like the black dots or the red dots. And that's how you can find them. And so that's why they're on paper towels right now. Um, end of the month, I think, after another treatment, I'm gonna do a series of three. I've already done two. Um, the way back to their normal bedding, I'm doing three just to break the egg cycle. I will be getting um, this product called um, Preventamite. You spray down the uh, enclosure and it's supposed to um, kill mites on contact, adult mites, not the eggs, which is okay. It works for I think a month I've read. It's kind of like um, putting like that flea treatment stuff on your cats. They're good for a month and then you retreat. That's basically what the Preventamite is. So I'll be getting that um, here in the future and treating the enclosure that way. And then, you know, hopefully that will keep, keep mites away. Keep them, keep them off my snakes. Little, little blood sucking bastards. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so, um, Patty went into her hot hide, which she's actually too, too big for. I haven't changed it out yet, though, just because, um, I'm lazy. <laughs> and I haven't bought new hides yet. I'm waiting till my rack is finished. It's gonna be done, like, in the next probably two, three weeks, and she doesn't even use that hide even when she did fit. So, um, I don't feel the need to change it yet. She is coming out and going to into her other hide, which is big enough for her. So, yeah. Sorry, uh, tripod issues. <laughs> yeah, that's how I'm treating for mites. I did get a new snake last month. Um, I'm not gonna show you her just because she's a little cranky because she also got treated today, so she's kind of in her hide pouting because I you know, hosed her down with Nyx, rearranged her entire terrarium, and, or, er, she's not in a terrarium. Patty's the only snake I have in a terrarium. Everyone else is in storage totes, um, like, on my, on my floor. <laughs> I've got one, or two out here. I've got Patty and one of my other snakes. I want to do a full Meet My Snakes series, eventually. I think that'd be really cool for you guys, just to learn how I got them, where I got them from, um, my experiences getting them, because some of them were not so pleasant. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And um, if there's any videos you want me to do, like any questions, put them in the comments and I will read them. If you have any video ideas for me, leave a comment. Um, subscribe to me, help my channel grow. So and spread the good news about snakes. Have a good day, everyone.